Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here, and in this video, we are going to make this baby Yoda. I'm gonna take you guys from start to finish, how I made this, and let's get to it. All right, you guys, before we get started, I wanna talk to you guys about the 3D printing form. Basically, it's a place where we can talk about anything and everything 3D printing. Um, whether you're brand new or you've been doing this for a while, this is the place to be. So, uh, I've been trying to get this going for a while and I need you guys' help. Um, what I need you guys to do is go down to the link below. It's called the 3dprintingforum.com or just go to the, uh, the address bar and type the 3dprintingforum.com and sign up, man. If you're new, um, go make a post, introduce yourself. If you have a question about 3D printing, Post it. There's gonna be people here who love talking about this stuff, and no question is stupid. I promise. Everybody in this community that I've met so far are super helpful. And if you're experienced and you have a question about your machine, we want to post your make, things that you've made, you've done. Um, post it. If you have an ideas, tips, tricks, please post it there. We're all here to learn. Um, I want to make this place the go-to place for 3D printing, and I need you guys to help for that. I can't do this on my own. So. Again, it's at 3dprintingforum.com. Link is down below, and let's move on. All right, so for the paint, um, I'm using this uh, model air set colors for miniatures. It's from Vallejo. I bought this on Amazon. I'm going to link this uh, in the description below for what I use, um, as well as the airbrush that I'm using. So we're going to airbrush Baby Yoda's head. Um, but I'm looking at these colors, and it doesn't look like it's going to have the right color for Baby Yoda's head. So Baby Yoda's um, colors are about light green. Um, I see like a really dark green here. Um, I see blue and a pale blue. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take a uh, white and a dark green. I'm going to use the white to lighten up the green until I get the consistency that, consistency that I like. I'm going to go ahead and mix it directly inside the airbrush though. I'm just going to take a brush and mix it in until I get the right consistency that I'm looking for. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it on a piece of paper, test it out when I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to brush the baby Yoda and then we're going to go from there. All right. So let me get on that and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys. So for the eyes, all I did was I took a little bit of that black um, airbrush color and I used this, um, this edged brush and I just painted over it uh, mainly because it's easier to just uh, use a brush rather than the airbrush for this one. Um, so again, this one didn't print out as, as well as he wanted it to, and I'm not the best painter. So either way, I'm going to finish this. Uh, it's going to be a learning experience for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really experienced with the airbrush yet, but um, so far it's, it's looking good. I like it. Um, definitely needs a lot of work, a lot and lot, lots and lots of work. So yeah. All right, guys. So for the frog, uh, I looked at some reference pictures, and it's actually black with a little bit of. Um, some green stripes on the legs so I'm just gonna paint this entire thing black and then um, put some green stripes on it and for this one we're also gonna use the airbrush all right so what I've done is I have um, taped and primed the baby Yoda and I just used um, regular spray paint I used this uh, Krylon color max uh, satin leather brown um, for, for that and then when I take this off I'm going to use my uh, airbrush to airbrush the um, the collar and the and, and the um, what do you call that the cuffs <laughs> the cuffs um, using some um, airbrush colors so I'm just waiting for that to dry and then we are going to be good to go um, also the uh, um, frog is uh, is drying out so once that's done, we're going to go ahead and paint that as well. All right, so for the frog, right now that it's dried up um, or dried out, what we're going to use are just these, um, this uh, air model, is this Vallejo? Yeah, this is Vallejo uh, model paint. Um, I got this for 40 bucks on Amazon. The link for this is going to be in the description below. Um, it's just a, a, a basic, uh, basic um, colors. And I'm going to use this... Um, what is this? Pale blue, right? Pale blue. Um, and this doesn't have to be super, super accurate, you guys. All I'm doing is just making my own frog. 
Um, so all I'm going to do is give it some marks. And that's it, really. Um, I am not the best painter, so don't come to me for tutorials <laughs> for, for painting. I am not um, by any means a professional painter. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. That's it. And then we're going to do the other side. Again, I'm not the best, so <laughs> bear with me. Now, for this, for this paint, um, I just put just a little bit in the bucket in there and it it, it, it goes a lot uh, a little goes a long way so when you guys do this um, just put a little bit in, in your bucket and then spray and then if you need more just add more of that way you don't waste anything so I'm gonna let these dry and then do the other side and then we're gonna put it all together basically all right so for the cuffs I just went for a lighter brown um, you can find it in the kit that I showed you guys earlier uh, I think I used this middle stone um, color and I just went and basically just passed on the um, on the cuffs really not much to it I don't know what else to say about that uh, and it, it came out great um, not sure if it's 100 million percent accurate on the colors but it came out um, the way I wanted to and you guys can see the light green baby Yoda color from the um, the mixture of the green and white from in there um, this is by far not the most perfect print. I'm going to be pre printing this again on another machine to give it a higher detail. And so I'm probably going to be making this entire thing one more time. But as of now, it's good practice for me for my painting skills. And yeah, there you go. And that's it, you guys. That's, uh, this is how it came out. Um, it came out okay. Um, the paint job really could use a lot more work. I'm not that good of a painter. Um, I'm just happy that I was able to paint it and give it some life. But yeah, uh, I'm probably going to reprint this again. I just bought my Theopoly Phenom, um, thanks to uh, uh, Joel and, and Uncle Jesse for, for recommending that to me. So I'm going to get one of those and probably reprint this again in, in that machine. Um, but yeah, this, this, this thing came out great and um, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Everything that you guys uh, find in this video is going to be in the link. There's going to be a link for it in the description below, um, as well as the files where to get one of these. Um, it's going to be on my website, and the filament and all that stuff that I use is going to be in the description down below. Um, and if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. That'd be great, and um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.